video I'll be showing some of the features of the LabVIEW project that target file management and are new in LabVIEW 8.5. First, I'll add a VI to my project. Notice that the Dependencies section of the project has contents as well. In previous versions of LabVIEW, you had to open Goldilocks.vi and refresh Dependencies in order to see these contents, which are all the sub-VIs that Goldilocks.vi calls. There's also a new Files view in the Project window. The Files view shows the same contents of the project and its dependencies, but organized in the same layout that you would see on disk. From an item in the Items view, you can quickly navigate to the same item in the Files view by right-clicking on the item and selecting Show in Files view. You can navigate back from the Files view to the Items view in a similar manner. Another way to see file path information in the project is to select Show Item Paths from the Project menu. An enhancement of this feature that's new in LabVIEW 8.5 is that the path information is displayed in a separate resizable column. You can also toggle the Paths column from the right-click menu of the project item in the tree. As I mentioned earlier, the project in LabVIEW 8.5 keeps track of sub-VI calling relationships even for VIs that are not open in memory. This allows us to find all the callers or sub-VIs for any item in the project. Goldilocks calls two different sub-VIs. From here we can go to either of them. Now let's find who calls 3Bears.VI. Since there is only one VI in this project which calls 3Bears.VI, we are taken directly to it. Now let's save our project. If you want to make a copy of a project, select File Save As. From the Save As dialog, you can choose to copy or rename just the project file, or to duplicate the project file and its contents. You can select the contents to copy using either an Items view or a Files view, which are similar to the views in the project window. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about a few of the new features in LabVIEW 8.5. Thanks for reading my blog, Eyes on VIs.